no f is o how do you draw this no f is o so draw f and draw o and no f is o so these two cannot touch each other right f and o cannot touch each other all o are c all the o are c all o are c and all c are m all c are m right okay so this is the diagram yeah no f is o all o are c all c are m and there is one more statement no m is d no m is d so let me draw d here and no m is d so m and d cannot overlap see the reason i am putting two two tick uh, cross marks here is to you know give you a clarity that d and m cannot overlap because both of them have got two two cross marks but d can go and touch f because f has got only one single cross d has got two crosses i am sure you would understand this better after having gone through the video syllogism video but you know you should be clear with this fundas right so no f is o these two cannot touch each other all o are c and then all c are m and then no m is d no m is d right so m and d cannot touch each other now look at the conclusions the first one here no c r f no c r f no c r f is it true well if you look at the basic diagram it is true no c r f c and f cannot touch each other right look at the basic diagram no c r f no c r f so when you take the basic diagram yes it is true it is true no c r f is true but will it always be true just think about that basic diagram yes here's the basic diagram and according to the basic diagram no c r f is true because c and f do not touch each other but like i've told you when a conclusion satisfies the basic diagram you have to verify the other possible diagrams as well right and a simple understanding here is that see f cannot touch o but in possible diagrams we can you know make f overlap with c and m we can make f overlap with c and m for example for an instance let's assume that we draw f in this way f okay i think it is just touching o there so let me redraw it so that we don't get confused let's say this is the diagram for f and here's the diagram for o like we had seen earlier right so this green diagram that you see is a possibility case what we have drawn in purple there is the real case real basic diagram but this is a possible diagram now the moment you draw f in this fashion what happens you find that f and c overlap you see there is an overlapping between f and c there is an overlapping between f and c and even without drawing this basic uh, possible diagram in what we have drawn in green color you would know that f will not touch o but f can come and touch c f can come and touch m etc right so no c r f do it satisfies the basic diagram it should be taken as a wrong conclusion right it should be taken as a wrong conclusion because it fails in the possible diagram no c r f fails in the possible diagram next one some f r d some f r d now if you now, now you have to forget about this green colored f because that was drawn as a special case look at the original f right it says no f r d no f r d right forget about all this no f r d compare f with d what do you find f sorry some f r d the conclusion is some f r d as per the basic diagram f and d do not overlap at all right f and d do not overlap at all so can we say some f r d no in the basic diagram itself it fails some f r d fails in the basic diagram itself hence some f r d is wrong so neither conclusion one nor conclusion two follows none follows none follows so your answer should be option 4 none of these sorry option should be option 4 none follows answer should be option 4 none follows remember do not consider option 3 and option 4 to be the same though they look to be similar there is a huge difference between option 3 and option 4 option 3 says none of these when will you mark this as the answer only when 1 2 and 3 are wrong sorry 1 2 and 4 are wrong only when conclusion 1 conclusion 2 and conclusion 4 these three are wrong in that case you will mark none of these as the answer but here conclusion 4 is correct none follows is correct you are able to follow none follows means none of these conclusions follow none of these means none of these options are correct okay none of these always refers to the options this refers to the options none of these options are correct this refers to the conclusions right when you say none follows this refers to the conclusions so none of these conclusions follow option 4 would be the answer